much. Welcome back. And uh, to highlight uh, the uh, visit of President Sisi to Bahrain and Oman, we have with us over the phone Ambassador Member Yumi from Assistant Foreign Minister. Good afternoon to you, sir. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you so much. Uh, Your Excellency, um, this is uh, a very significant uh, visit and comes after, right after important visits that, uh, of, of Arab leaders uh, who uh, were in Egypt. How do you view the importance and the significance of such visits at this very particular uh, time? Why is or why uh, at this uh, time tho uh, those two visits? As you all know, we are in the middle of uh, a very intensive consultation process between main leaders of the Arab world. The Arab world nowadays is not in very good health. We have problems in Syria, in Iraq, in Beirut, in Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Yemen. So those who are standing on a solid feet in Egypt and the Gulf states are making a sort of consultation with the help also of His Royal uh, Highness, the King of uh, Jordan. And uh, you can pick immediately that uh, we are preparing for the coming uh, conference of the Gulf states plus Egypt, Iraq and Jordan hosting the President of the United States. And uh, we, we start to have some uh, news that the President of the NSS is coming with some uh, proposals to have a sort of uh, Arab NATO or to solve the problems against any threat in the Arab world. I guess that uh, Foreign Minister Samah Shukri said that uh, this uh, NATO proposal is not on the Egyptian table. But, uh, yes, indeed, there is this U.S. coming... It is very good news, yes, I followed it, and it's very good to uh, deny any rumor concerning uh, uh, an Arab NATO. We have the, the Arab League umbrella, and we have my, our old uh, agreement on cooperation in the military uh, dimension. We have our maneuver with... Uh, many Arab countries, uh, whether it is the Emirates or Saudi Arabia or Oman, and if you visit our military institutions, you will find that it's full with our uh, brothers from many Arab countries. So this point is quite clear now. But whatever the President of the United States is coming with, we are well prepared now to know the points of view of every Arab country. We have a sort of uh, a united Arab position concerning all the problems because we, we also shall, shall discuss with him the international uh, problems such as the uh, uh, effect of the corona uh, ep epidemic from the uh, economic point of view, the economic impact of the war in uh, Ukraine, also, we are preparing for the conference for environment in our uh, country. Indeed. On the regional level, of course, there must be a discussion covering what is happening, that north of Syria is occupied, north of Iraq is occupied now, the trouble in uh, Lebanon, and we, we are uh, trying to make Lebanon uh, as united as we have seen always. Libya is another threat, Yemen and uh, the threat of other uh, forces out of the region, all these must be discussed. I You're think also it will be a good opportunity to discuss bilateral relations because Egypt considers the United States as a main uh, economic and trade partner and we want to invite the uh, United States to come forward for more and more trade relations, uh, uh, because uh, uh, up till now we don't have free trade area with the United States. We have free trade areas with the Arabs, with Europe, and with Africa, not yet with the United States. Uh, right. Uh, 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 Your Excellency, uh, 
I, I, I don't know. Uh, they are telling me that there is a press conference that will be held uh, right now. Yes, for, uh, for, for the Arab League Secretary General, Ahmed Abu Ghit, who will be speaking about the preparations for the upcoming Arab summit. So I guess we'll go air uh, now. Right, we'll continue until they tell me uh, that. Uh, okay. Uh, so, so you spoke about two uh, important uh, issues. Uh, I think that uh, Egypt has for long uh, called for Arab joint forces. And we don't need really Na a NATO, we need Arab joint forces. But uh, speaking about this uh, US uh, 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 visit or the uh, US uh, president who is coming to join the GCC Council uh, uh, meeting that will be held in uh, Saudi Arabia, there is a very important point that should, uh, that will be raised, which is the foreign interference, or rather Iran, the Iwani file. Yes, I, I, I am following this also, but I wrote an article saying that we, uh, I am not, uh, I am not happy with some of our friends pointing to the wrong enemy. We have our internal problems. We have threat to the Palestinian question. We, our main story now and main problem in, in the Arab area is the Palestinian question, which is threat. So nobody is supposed to come and to tell me that Iran or Pakistan, or I don't know what, is threatening our security. We can deal directly with Iran. Iran has an embassy in, in, in Egypt. Uh, uh, we, 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 we have seen leaders from Iran coming to our country, so we have direct contact. So I, I am not with the idea of uh, creating uh, new uh, uh, enemies, which are not really uh, enemies. We are all, whether Iran or Turkey, with, uh, w who are annoying us, as a matter of fact, but we are after all members of the Islamic Conference states. We can talk to Iran and Turkey directly there. So inter intermediation by a third country like the United States, uh, I, I, a big question there. Let us concentrate on our cases and our uh, ambitious uh, aim to create uh, more and more trade and more investment and to solve our main political problem in uh, uh, Palestine and the foreign forces coming to Libya, we have 20,000 terrorists in Libya. We want to get rid of them. The threat in Yemen, we have to face it. So we, we, uh, I do not want, uh, I do not uh, advise to create new enemies such as uh, uh, Turkey or uh, Iran. Um, reports uh, have suggested that there are mediations already ongoing between uh, Iran or rather between Saudi Arabia and Iran. Let's uh, or remains uh, to be seen about that. The significance of uh, bilateral cooperation in various means, particularly of what concerns the economy and the uh, economic uh, crisis that is um, ongoing or that has become a global threat? By the way, I don't hear a word of what you're saying. I'm following you through the TV. Yes, the I, 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 the I've heard aspect. myself, sir, but I so, left you. But, but, but I heard what you said. I, yeah. OK, uh, uh, it's very good to have uh, good bilateral relations, but it's much better to have interest, to have trade, to have investment, to have economic cooperation, to give us the uh, uh, experience of other countries. This is what we, we gain from our relations with Europe, for instance. Europe is our main trade uh, partner, the largest investor in Egypt, but there's something which you, we, we do not talk about uh, uh, every time, it is the uh, experience of Europe in many fields. As you will know, I was personally uh, uh, managing a program to support 
the Egyptian government institutions from uh, uh, post uh, authority to railways, to roads, to uh, environment. Everything we, we have benefited from uh, uh, Europe uh, uh, with experience. This is a, a, a cost a lot, and it is to us, it is a good uh, advice and a good uh, position to gain the experience of other countries, especially that Europe is appreciating the Egyptian policies in many fields, especially fighting the organized crime, terrorism, illegal migration, drug trafficking, and we are in a very good context with Europe. I, I hope that the United States will take this example and uh, 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 ameliorate its uh, approach to our problems and to try to solve our real problems and to continue in the shape of free trade area, in the shape of more investment from the United States in our countries. And also, I do not neglect that the Arab uh, intra investment is good, but not good enough. Uh, uh, Arabs are investing abroad 20 times much more than they are investing in their own countries. And this means that we have a homework which must be done to make our uh, investment environment much better. I am talking about banking system, it has to be ameliorated. I am talking about bureaucracy, and the bureaucracy is the enemy of any investor. The mass media is not welcoming quite enough an, a foreign in, investor, and now we have some voices asking that investment should be done by government. Even China and Russia stopped this idea of having a state-led economy. Now we are in the market economy everywhere, even in Russia, even in China. But some voices in our country are still dreaming of the government owning private uh, uh, projects. We uh, have to change this, of course. I, I guess that the last time uh, uh, or uh, uh, the, uh, the Prime Minister spoke about this very particular area was that Egypt is about to raise uh, the participation of the private sector from 30% to 65%, moving on because he spoke about the important role uh, uh, that is played by the private uh, sector and should be playing at this upcoming stage. So, respectively, what you're saying is quite very much uh, um, um, thinkable or, or rather to be implemented at this upcoming stage, Your Excellency, here. From your point of view, what are the opportunities of investments uh, in, in Egypt that uh, um, um, uh, uh, that cope with uh, the needs of uh, Bahrain and Oman? Bahrain is a good example of an Arab country which became a center for finance and money. Oman is not less, so we, we expect them to participate in our coming investments. But here, again, I repeat that it is our duty in order to attract them, in order to make the uh, public opinion well receiving such ideas. I appreciate what you said about the Prime Minister, but I also add that I heard the President talking about the role of the private sector, which is very important. Yes. I always mention a very important book in the market, which, we, uh, which uh, the name is uh, uh, Creative Investors, talking about Germany. When Germany became the largest exporter of the world in 2009, he discovered that 80 percent of what Germany is exporting is not a government production. It's not even the big names of uh, Germany. It is the small and uh, middle-sized industries of the private sector who made Germany the largest exporter of the world. So here we, we knock the door. We ask to support the private sector from the small gentleman who wants to, to open a small mechanic shop 
or a car for a shop or, or whatever, up till establishing big projects, we have to encourage this and to make the public opinion well receiving such idea. Indeed. Indeed, preparing a conducive atmosphere for investment is uh, a must. Uh, Your Excellency Ambassador Gamal Benyomi, former Assistant Foreign Minister, thank you so much for being with us over the phone and for your input as uh, usual.